everybody and welcome to Wednesday's Maths lesson. We are continuing to look at the topic of time today and today we're going to start looking at telling the time to o'clock using an analogue clock, which is a clock with hands on it. So let's take a look. So when we measure time, we measure it in hours and minutes and seconds, but we're just looking at hours and minutes today. And on a clock, there is an hour hand. It is the shortest hand on the clock. So there's our hour hand there. There is also a minute hand and it is longer than the hour hand. So that's how we tell the difference between the two. The hour hand is shorter and the minute hand is longer. When the minute hand is pointing to the number 12, it is showing a full hour. We call this time o'clock. On this clock, the hour hand is pointing at the eight and the minute hand is pointing to the 12. This tells us that the clock is, is, is showing eight o'clock. So let's have a look, what time is it? So the hour hand is pointing at the seven, the minute hand is pointing at the 12, so it's seven o'clock. Wonder if you can work this one out. So the hour hand is pointing at the three, and the minute hand is pointing at the 12, so it must be three o'clock. Well done. Okay, now this time we've got the hour hand pointing at the 11. The minute hand is still at the 12, so it must be 11 o'clock. Well done. And now we've got the minute hand at the 12 still, so it must be o'clock. And the hour hand pointing at the 6, so it must be 6 o'clock. And this one, right, so the minute hand's still at the 12, so it's got to be o'clock. And the short hour hand's pointing at the 9, so it must be 9 o'clock. There we go. Well done, everybody. And the last one, oh, so the minute hand's at the 12, but the hour hand is also at the 12. So it must be 12 o'clock. There we go. So some of the activities I'd like you to complete today are similar to the ones we're going to go through now. So which clock shows seven o'clock? So if it's seven o'clock, my hour hand needs to be pointing at the number seven. My minute hand needs to be pointing at the number 12. Oh, I can see that clock C. There we go. The hour hand is pointing at the seven. The minute hand is pointing at the 12. That shows seven o'clock. And I've got right the so in question two, write the time shown on each clock in words. So I've got to write underneath. So that the first one on the left, the hour hand is pointing at the 10 and the minute hand is pointing at the 12. So that must be 10 o'clock. And the second one, the hour hand is pointing at the 8, and the minute hand is pointing at the 12. So that must be 8 o'clock. Well done if you got those right. OK, and this time I've got to draw the hands to show 8 o'clock. So if it's 8 o'clock, whenever it's o'clock, my minute hand has to point at the 12. So I'll draw my minute hand there. And if it's eight o'clock, then my hour hand has to point to the eight. There we go. And this one, true or false, the time is six o'clock. Hmm. Well, I can see that the minute hand is definitely at the 12, so it's o'clock. And the hour hand is pointing to the six. So it is definitely six o'clock. That is true. Well done. So I would like you to have a go at either the first sheet for your first activity or the second sheet. If you're feeling super confident, just go straight to the second sheet. And if you're feeling a little bit unsure, a little bit uncertain, just try the first sheet. Remember, you only have to do one of the two. And if you're feeling, if you've done really well with those, you can move on to some problem solving. So we'll go through one of those activities now for you. So here's our problem solving. Two children show nine o'clock on a clock. So Chloe has put the minute hand at the 12 and the hour hand at the 9. So that looks right to me. And then Ryan, he's got the minute hand at the 9 and the hour hand at the 12. Hmm, I think he's got those the wrong way around, you know. So who is correct? Explain how you know. Well, Chloe is correct because she's put the minute hand at the 12 and the hour hand at the 9. So I can put that in my writing there. So have a go yourself. I hope you get on all right. Remember to ask for help if you need it and I will see you soon. Bye.